Hello everyone, and today we have for you a graphic card. This is GeForce GTX 780 from a company Yevga. I'd like to tell that um, I really wanted this graphic card for repair with this problem because today we will be not just fixing but also upgrading graphic card by performance. Let's plug this graphic card to our test then and see what it does. After launching our graphic card, uh, we can see that our graphic card gives an image, but image is kind of distorted. Uh, by following different lines on the screen and um, uh, any other artifacts. Artifacts kind of like that. Um, what is it looking for us? That's a problem. Our so-called GPU just fell off. Of course, we can't just throw away from a viewer problem with our memory, uh, but for our experiences uh, for 780 series, um, following by artifacts like that, that's a problem with a uh, with a chip. We got to sample our graphic card, and one of the ways um, to test it out actually is uh, heating up our. GPU, the way how I do, I put uh, 360-380 degrees on the heat gun and uh, heat it up within 10-15 10, 10 seconds is more than enough. Gaze into the mirror and what do you see? After diagnostic process, we can definitely tell right now that we are dealing in this case with the GPU failure. Um, as we can see so far, we don't have any artifacts and our system is going on. Um, hopefully, our reheating our GPU will be enough for running a benchmark. I guess it will take a little bit of time, I might just skip and just go over the end of the benchmark and after finishing our benchmark I put um, an extreme benchmark we have a 4724 turtles um, okay let's uh, keep moving our repair what uh, we will be doing is instead of our 110-300-B1 which use uh, on uh, 780 graphic cards what we will be installing is uh, GK110 425B1 those uh, chips uh, from a line of a Kepler were the first that were um, started using the whole 15 clusters and of course it led to increasing the whole characteristics of a chip and uh, um, those uh, GK110 425B1 uh, they use uh, on uh, 780 Ti. So simply to say, from our 780 graphic card, we will be making 780 Ti. So far, what I could see is uh, our power pins, dot the pins are uh, matching up. So we're, and resistance is pretty the same. So so far, what I could see is uh, our chip should fit in here. The only what is concerning me f just a little bit for now is uh, I don't really have a stencil. Uh, everything what I could find is uh, this one is uh, just partially fitting up. So we will be able to do perfectly the center, but other than that, we will have to do manually. into the mirror and what do you see?
That's our new chip, already rebuilt, and um, okay. And this one we already unsoldered, and we will be just aligning our chip and soldering it back. Also our boss card. Do not forget I'm plugging our hard drive, powers, and at last the screen. Also to breathe easy, let's check it out our easier. Let's check it out our main uh, resistance and our phases. And on our chip, in the range of normals, 3 ohms is perfect for those type of chips. On the memory, 90 ohms in the range of normal. And now we're PCI Express. Hundred ten ohms, perfect. Um, okay. Let's then give it a shot. Okay. So far everything is good, car got detected and uh, we have a picture. Here we go. First of all, let's see how well we're graphic card is recognizing the system. And in the system, our graphic card is recognized as a 780, regular 780, not a 780 Ti. Of course, I tried to reinstall um, BIOS uh, from a 780Ti, but unfortunately with the BIOS from a 780Ti, driver could not be installed. Uh, I don't think 
that's because of a memory uh, the memory on this graphic card is uh, from a company Hunix and with the Hunix it should work just on easy what I'm suspecting is uh, on this graphic card is installed as well entering resistors um, which by which basically bias exactly recognizing on what kind of graphic card is installed but what I um, um, what I found out basically is that we don't actually have to play with the BIOS um, because if we open a GPU Z what we see is the same. The same of course is the name um, how we already saw it recognizes as regular 780 and of course uh, since we didn't change uh, any settings on our BIOS we uh, have same exact um, GPU clock and a memory uh, frequency which is uh, uh, 1500s but other than that all our graphic card is acting as a 780 Ti as for example our shader blocks has been unlocked and right now they up to 2900s um, well this is not a problem because GPU clock and a memory clock we can basically increase it manually but even though if we, if we that's what I already did. If we run a benchmark with the, our characteristics from a 780 uh, graphic card, our benchmark in an extreme stress test uh, gives uh, 50 to 100 uh, turtles, which is basically already we increasing our um, performance of a graphic card on about 10-15%. Ten, Other than that, um, there is no other issues. Um, I like the temperatures how going up uh, pretty smoothly. There is no uh, random crashes or um, driver just all of a sudden just flying out. Uh, everything works pretty smooth. I'll keep testing this graphic card. Thank you very much for watching put likes, dislikes, and of course subscribe for more repairs on this channel. Thank you. Bye.